just have a question. As feminists, who do you think is more at a disadvantage or more discriminated against in today's society, men or women? Hey, Nev, move your mic. You're going to hate me for responding this, but what metric are you using? Like, what are you, are you saying like, in the, no, you guys are acting like I'm crazy. No, I'm and not. And I understand it's the just, frustration. We're not acting. You You're are crazy. Are, you are thinking with emotions right now. Just Wait, did you even answer acting. her question? I, I, I'm, I'm did she, not did she, trying to disrespect Philly, did she you answer like the you, question? you're crazy. It's just, whenever you answer a question, it's like every single thing has a million shades of gray. And I, I don't look at the world that way, and I think it, it overcomplicates literally everything. So beyond, you're saying you look at the world the in like simplistic black and white paradigms. You don't ever try to look at the shades. Of I mean, gray I'm that I'm the, the kind of person I believe in like objective truth, and like when it comes exactly. to the gender discussion, for example, I asked what is a woman, and it's like somebody who's born with an XX or XY chromosome. Like to me, it, a lot of things like that are very black and white. And I know that in some small instances there's shades of gray, but it's like when questions are directed. I mean, when we were talking this corner, earlier about when like questions essay are directed, and bathrooms, we were no, like Aaron, very finish, Aaron, interested. Let him, finish, Aaron, let him finish. When questions are directed to this side of the panel with all due respect it devolves into this like million shades of gray for literally everything in the conversation i feel like it's not fruitful for conversation is my so point. where during the job interview process do they ask you to bring up your only fans history is it like the hiring manager is you know, it the hr is this the level of discourse like, where, that we're on where where at what point cool. during the client you, you know, know interaction I think there are sound checks that include your internet history, and if you choose to do OnlyFans, that's in your internet footprint forever. That is a choice that you made. That's the example that you brought up, and in your belief as a feminist, women have full agency over their sexuality since they've been liberated. It's only fair then to hold them accountable for making a decision. Can that, I say, like that. OnlyFans aside, I personally. I would not advocate for employers to go looking to see how qualified the candidates are by the first thing that they're searching up after they see the name on the resume. Let's see if they have an OnlyFans it account. It comes up pretty quickly and it, when it, you it look at somebody's just be, background It wouldn't just be that as part of their history. Any more than I think it's relevant for an employer to be like, let's look through their Facebook, let's look through their Twitter, through Those their YouTube. Those things are relevant. Every employer, every employer is allowed to freely associate with who they want, but I would criticize any business person who thinks that it's prudent <laughs> to spend their time Scanning through candidates like Instagram and social media history? Well, yeah, that So wait, 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 wait. Yeah, so, I think wait, what's you more relevant think it's is their credentials for and their resume. You don't wait, wait, think time it's out. prudent for employers to, to care about whether or not one of their employees has OnlyFans. Yeah, I think you're that's just... not prudent. Wait, wait, hold on. Like if, if, it, if, I'm, if I'm a CEO, on what the job if I'm a CEO, generally speaking, I don't think it's prudent or like a fruitful use of employers' time to like specifically to specifically comb through their prospective like applicants' internet history. Okay, in internet, internet history and OnlyFans Seriously? are two different things. Okay? OnlyFans can be part of your internet. So, okay, so if I'm a CEO and do. I'm hiring somebody, let's say I'm hiring a salesperson to close high ticket deals and they're talking with important people on a daily basis and right. I'm sending that salesperson to go speak with these people and if any of those people that they speak to look up that person's name and they find pornography of them all over the internet, obviously they're going to take me and my company far less seriously if I have somebody working like that for me. How and can your, you say that that's not important? Like, oh well, they shouldn't. Yeah, they shouldn't. No, think I that said that every employer and business yeah, owner is allowed to freely like, associate and hire whoever they think. So if they really think that that's at odds with their company's profits, then don't hire that okay, candidate. But I would up, be very suspect as to whether or not that's actually. So the case. then wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, this, it may it, very well be the case that the scenario this, that you're describing does happen. And if that's the case, then I wouldn't expect an employer to act any other way. So, okay, okay cool. Great. So if this is not a relevant point, then why did she bring this up as a relevant point? I like how almost every other person in the panel understood what I was saying and maybe disagreed with what I was saying, but at least understood it versus you who keep saying like, oh no, you think a person like should like hired OnlyFans when it's like, hey, no, like what I'm trying to say is that there are different standards for women check. and women when it comes to like Sex. That's all I was trying to say. And yet uh, you keep yeah. trying to be different standards for people who are different. Well, but that's, that's a good question. Women are different, so they are held to different standards because yeah. of the objective differences between male and female sexuality. Bingo. Yeah, and we what can have we can Bingo. have this conversation right now. I just want to point out that I appreciate you guys actually bringing that to a conversation than trying to straw man me over and over again. Okay. Well, so what would your response man. be to that? 
would do different so just women to make and sure. men are treated differently because of the objective differences between men and women especially in regards to their sexuality how is the patriarchy holding women down i'm still waiting Oh Did yeah, let's come back to that. <laughs> yeah, why okay, are we using using hold on? Let me let me redirect. Like let me redirect the conversation. How, how is it it's holding down? Word. Yeah, okay, okay. Wait, it hasn't been so like hold on. Let, I got a, I got men invented OnlyFans. I did want to hear Pixie's response <laughs> hold on. to that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a couple okay. questions here. Let me try to get through them, and we'll have a little back and forth. Okay, so under the patriarchy, are women oppressed? Yes. <laughs> are men the oppressors? <laughs> um. They're not all. <laughs> Jesus fuck. <laughs> Bro, don't use Although the words I'll come back. three hundred dollars. Those two feminists are so far gone. Life has consequences. It's called reality, and you two need a clear dose of it. Employers want morally sound employees. News flash doing of slash sex isn't moral. Also, can you two form a valid argument instead of rambling? <laughs> Thank you, Bads EXE. I think that's Wait, Victor. Wait, can I respond to the donor real quick? Yeah. I, something that's interesting to me is that, like, I think that there is a valid conversation to be had about doing employment background checks. However, um, not hiring somebody because they do OnlyFans. You could argue that, hey, I think the corporation should take a stand and say, we don't police our um, individual employees' backgrounds. Now, you can say that's unreasonable. However, when corporations turn that same lens and they get very woke about employees, you conservative people get really upset about that. For instance, if 10 years ago you tweeted shit about being a Nazi or whatever, or you tweeted edgy jokes, you guys would stand up and you'd go, hold on, corporations shouldn't be holding employees accountable for stuff they said on their Twitter 10 years ago. But it sounds like if somebody found an OnlyFans you did 10 years ago, you'd be saying, well, it's totally fair game to make it so that that person can't work at that yeah, company. Yeah, doing OnlyFans is worse than that. Wait, 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 that's not a fair argument. That's not a fair okay, argument. One at a time, let's go. Okay, okay let, 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 me, let me just say mine real quick, because People are getting easy. fired from their jobs for saying something is gay on Twitter 10 years ago. Or sure. like yeah. making, which, which, making a mildly reason, homophobic but hold on, but hold on, joke. That's earlier, a totally different thing no, than like no, no, espousing no, no, no. national socialism or something. No, no, it's actually totally not. Because what if it is the case that your salesman is doing business with another company, and let's say that the person that they're interfacing with is gay, they find out that your salesperson tweeted homophobic stuff 10 years ago and now you've got like an, uh, a blue chip company that doesn't want to do business with you because you hire, hire people that have been homophobic. They could use the exact same argument that you use about not hiring the OnlyFans people. Now hold on, to be clear, I'm not saying that we should fire all those people. I'm just saying that back in my day, okay, we didn't fucking peruse all the online history of everybody to decide who gets hired or who's not. I think that if you're not on the clock, then the fucking employer shouldn't have anything to do with your shit. Yeah. But it is interesting that we were very selective about what we want policed in a person's history. Yeah, and that's how you This goes back Starbucks to the original to point that I was making earlier in the conversation mm -hmm. about homosexuality contributes to the degeneracy of society. I want to live in a society where you can joke about something being gay online. Sure, but it could be a ra I'm, oh, Come on, I'm saying gay, but it could be like a racist joke. It could be a bigoted joke. It could be a whatever edgy joke. It could be a any type of thing, right? I'm, is or that it could TOS? Be is it TOS? What? To say that homosexuality, is that TOS? I don't know, but your podcast is going We're down. We're in California, tonight, don't, don't worry. Just tell us when the stream goes down and move the rumble. Okay, sure. Hold on, hold on. I think that broadly speaking, I think we should probably say corporations... We need to stop this culture of corporations digging into employment history just because like people on Twitter get really mad that like this guy did this thing five or ten years ago. Whether it's like making a sexist joke or doing OnlyFans. That's, okay, that would be my personal. Fair opinion. enough. We gotta move move away from that.